What if you can walk 10,000 steps a day without even realizing you're doing it? Well, let me tell you guys, it is possible because I've actually been doing it for the past couple of weeks and I wanna share with you guys my experience in using the EgoFit Comfort Deck N2 model, which is an upgrade from my previous walking treadmill that I had underneath my desk. I did a review on maybe about a year ago at this point and I wanted a little bit of a different model and some different things going on and I figured I might as well do a review since I've been testing it out and I just wanted to share my thoughts. But just to give you guys a layout in case you wanna to skip to a certain section, here's how this review is gonna go. I'm gonna first start off by talking about the specs, then I'm gonna move into some pros and cons, and lastly, I'm gonna share who this treadmill would be ideal for and who it might not be ideal for. Let's go ahead and dive in. So as far as the specs go for the EgoFit Comfort Tech N2 model, I will say it is a very light and compact treadmill. It is only about 51 to 52 pounds, so it really isn't that heavy. But for me, that made it really easy for me to actually bring it upstairs into my apartment without having to get somebody else to help me bring that box up and unpack it. And speaking of compact, so the dimensions of this particular treadmill are really small, which is actually ideal for what I was looking for. I didn't want something that was gonna take up a bunch of space. So it's really awesome for something under the desk because it takes up such a small amount of space. And the treadmill's measuring in at about 41.5 inches by 22.8 inches by seven inches. So overall, a very compact model. Let's go ahead and talk about speed range. So it goes from about half a mile per hour up to 3.1 miles per hour. So a pretty decent walking speed range. And as far as user weight capability, it's able to hold up to somebody of about 245 pounds. Okay, so now we got some of the technical stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and dive into some of the pros and cons that I've noticed while using this treadmill over the course of a couple of weeks. All right, so let's talk about the pros first. I love that this has a 3% incline. You don't see that too often with walking pads or under the desk treadmills. It's really nice to have for, you know, in my opinion, I like to have that little extra calorie burn. The incline feels really nice on my calves and ankles. I'm getting a little extra more like range of motion, extra mobility as I'm stepping and a good stretch into my calves and Achilles, which always feels nice. So I'm a huge fan of having that slight incline and it's not so much that it feels like a huge effort, like you're hauling up a, a mountain or a hill. It's just a slight incline. So it's barely noticeable, but enough so much that you are getting a little extra calorie burn, which can be beneficial for folks that are, you know, maybe wanting to lose weight. Another thing that I love about the M2 model is that it has this honeycomb kind of cushioning to the treadmill itself. So when you heel strike or you land your foot down on the belt, there's this kind of cushioning impact that you notice with the treadmill. So it really does a great job of shock absorption and cushioning for joint health and just, you know, especially if somebody has had knee surgery or has any kind of lower extremity joint issues, it's gonna be a really great treadmill to walk on. Another thing I absolutely love about this treadmill is the size of it and its compact nature. You guys have heard some of my other reviews. I have a very small apartment space. My dining room and my office are also my gym space. So I like to really have things that aren't going to take up a ton of space. So my previous walking treadmill or walking pad um, was your kind of standard length walking pad. It took up a good chunk of space. Now this is like, you know, chop off a quarter of that at least, and it's much smaller. I still am able to get like a full stride in without having any issues with my foot coming off the back. I'm 5'9", I've had friends that are six foot plus use it as well and haven't had any issues with stride length and like falling off the back of the, the belt at all. So there's plenty of room, but it's still compact and it takes up much less space. Speaking of taking up less space, the other cool thing is that it's really easy to move around. I find that a lot of other walking pads and walking treadmills that I've tried, especially the last one, you know, albeit I did love that one because it was able to go up into higher speed ranges, but it was just hard to move around. Um, it was kind of heavy, number one, and the wheels didn't move around really well. With this model, with the EgoFit M2 Comfort Deck, it is so easy to move around. It pivots really easily, so if I need to turn it around a corner or, you know, back it into a space, it moves seamlessly, so that's always a plus for, again, small spaces where you wanna be able to move equipment out of the way easily. Another feature that I thought was really cool about this treadmill in particular is that it has, you know, not only your distance um, and your time count, but it has your step count. And I've tested it to make sure it was actually counting my steps or I've like changed my step variation. I've hopped off the treadmill and let the belt run and it is accurately counting my steps. So if I were to hop off the treadmill, the treadmill continues to go, but my step count is no longer counting. So it is actually counting your steps, which is pretty cool. And again, counts the distance and calories burned as well. And another thing that I really appreciate is when you hit stop or if you pause the machine for any duration of time during the day, so long as you leave 
the machine switched on, it doesn't reset your step count. I've had that issue with other treadmills I've had where if you hit pause or stop for too long, it will stop counting your steps and start all the way over back at zero. So this has a cumulative like day count, which is really nice because you can you can have times where you are off the treadmill, you know, stepping out of the office and then come back and it can still continue to count your steps for the day. It also comes with a remote control, which makes it really easy for, you know, stopping, starting, adjusting speed while you're working or doing other things on the treadmill. And lastly, this treadmill is super quiet. You can barely hear it running. It's very subtle. All right, you guys, so I'll just show you how loud it actually is. It's not very loud at all. I'll just go my normal walking tempo. This is pretty much as loud as it gets for me during my work day. This is usually my speed. So it's very, very quiet. You can barely tell um, it's on. It's just super quiet in comparison to other treadmills I've tried. And because of the cushioning with that kind of like honeycomb feature that I was talking about earlier, it really cushions the sound of your foot impacting on the treadmill too. So it's not this like hard thud. So this is really like a quiet treadmill. A few moments later. All right, you guys, I have been on the treadmill for most of the day and I'm about to hit 10,000 steps. So exciting. So I will show you guys in real time what this looks like when I hit 10, 10,000 steps. Check it out. Look, we're almost there. Woohoo! And then it resets. So basically every digit now counts as 10 steps. Look at that! All right, so let's go ahead and jump into some cons or some things that I didn't love about the EgoFit M2 Comfort Deck. First thing is that I've had some issues with being able to switch it from metric to imperial. Um, even after troubleshooting with the company themselves and going through the manual, there hasn't been a way for me to really easily do that. Now they emailed me back saying that there should be a way where I hold down the negative uh, or the like down arrow on the remote control and then turn on the machine at the same time. It should give me the option to switch from imperial to metric, metric to imperial, but that's not happening. It's not doing it for me. So I don't know if it's my treadmill per se or if there was some sort of defect with that. Now, again, it's not the end of the world. So what if I'm in metric and want to be an imperial, I can convert mentally, that's fine, not a big deal. But for some people that might be like a little bit frustrating if that is something that happens with the model continuously. Another thing that I haven't loved about this treadmill is that because of that 3% incline that I do enjoy so much, it has also kind of messed with the ergonomics of my desk setup, meaning that my desk riser only could raise to a certain height and with the 3% incline on the treadmill, I'm standing up higher than I did on my flat walking pad before. Because of that, it kind of throws off like the desk height thing. Um, now I've been able to raise my computer to monitor on a couple more books to kind of like raise that up a little bit. But you know, depending on your desk, standing desk capabilities, it may be something where you're gonna need to kind of like play around with it and adjust things and maybe add some books in yourself to really like get the ideal um, ergonomic angle for working. And one last thing, it is a little pricier than other like under the desk walking treadmills or walking pads on the market, but I do think it's well-deserved because it is truly like one of the more compact models I've seen. It runs really smoothly. It is very quiet. It has all the features and the pros that I've talked about so far. So I do feel like, you know, it's worth what the price is. I think for the features of having the incline and the compact nature and it being so quiet, all those things make sense as to why it's priced that way. And for reference, as I'm recording this video, the price is currently at $4.99. That may change. I see that it's currently on sale on their site. So, you know, you gotta take that into account too. But nonetheless, even with some of these cons, I still have been able to walk 10K steps a day or more some days without really even noticing it. It's been pretty wild. And really, it's not like I'm walking that fast. I'm going about like a mile and a half per hour. So it's really not crazy fast. I'm barely noticing I'm doing it and I'm able to still get all my work done during the day. So who would be the ideal consumer for the EgoFit Comfort Deck M2 model? Well, I think if you're a busy professional and you really struggle to get time to exercise and to get movement in throughout your day and you're tired of sitting all day, this is a great way to combine those activities to still get your work done throughout the day, but also get some movement. Why not walk a couple miles in your day very slowly and get some movement in? 
I think it could also be great for somebody, again, who is looking to lose weight and burn some extra calories. The 3% incline on this treadmill gives you a little bit of that extra calorie burn. So you're able to really make the most out of the time that you are moving. Another demographic of folks that I think this particular walking pad or under the desk treadmill could be great for are those people that have had some joint issues. For me, again, I've had ACL surgery. I've had some other knee and hip issues throughout my athletic career. And this has been really nice to have a little of that extra cushioning that's happening with the honeycomb texturing on the treadmill that's absorbing a lot of the shock. And lastly, I really think that having something like this is great for folks who have ADHD and still need to get their work done. I'm speaking from experience. I'm somebody who feels like they constantly need to be in motion to be focused in some capacity. So for me, it's really helped kind of channel some of that and stay very focused at the same time. And I've noticed my productivity has increased like threefold throughout the day when I'm walking on that thing. And it's just much easier to have a clear mind when I'm doing stuff. And before I wrap this video, I do get this question a lot. So I'm just gonna answer it here. Is it difficult to work while you're walking on an under the desk treadmill? Yes and no. I think it takes a little getting used to. So I'd say give it a week of practice, take your time, find a good pace that really gels with your stride length and how much movement you need and really try to smooth that walking pace out a little bit. I found for me, again, like a mile and a half or 1.8 miles per hour uh, really works best as far as my pacing, but that could be different for you know any of you guys who might have a different leg length, a different stride length, all that good stuff. So play around with it. I found it to be very easy. I have no issues with typing or doing anything on the computer, even like editing work. Um, it's been very easy to manage that. And if you're interested in checking it out, I will go ahead and put the link down below for the EgoFit M2 Comfort Deck so you could try it out yourself. And guys, thanks so much again for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more cool product reviews reviews like this and other health and fitness educational content. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.